this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I am still going for overall win, number 949. I am still in beautiful Vero Beach, Florida, which is on the Treasure Coast. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Chive is actually under the same ownership. My friend Lou, who owns the Green Marlin where I was two nights ago against that Seafood Tower Challenge. But tonight, I'm the first person to take on and help kick off their brand new Ultimate Chive Taco Challenge. Now, I've got 45 minutes to finish everything here. Everything is pretty much build your own if you want to, but on their menu, they do have some recommended options based on what a lot of people love. I've got four different kinds. Just gonna read them right off. We've got three Korean beef tacos, which are sweet and spicy. We've got three Baja chicken tacos. Really excited for those. There's Baja slaw, all natural chicken, feta cheese, and then a sweet chili glaze. And then we've also got southern pork tacos. Those have slow roasted pork combined with house barbecue sauce and a sweet chili cream sauce. Mm -mm -mm. And then we also have three classic chicken tacos. Those have grilled chicken, lettuce, salsa, cheddar jack cheese, and sour cream. In addition to all the tacos, we've got two of their signature Reuben rolls, which are an appetizer. And then we also have one of their most popular items. It is a mac and cheese burrito, which has steak and a whole bunch of mac and cheese. In addition to this, Chive has a full bar. They've got all kinds of cocktails, uh, mixed drinks, stuff like that. But they also have 24 beers. So along with all this delicious food, I have to finish two flights of beers. I went with eight local options. I'll explain some of those along the way. But I've got 45 minutes to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be $99. But if I win, I'll get my meal free. I will get a sweet t-shirt and I will get my name and photo up here on the wall of fame at Chive. So let's get this challenge started. because this challenge does not involve crab legs. There's no shrimp, no real seafood at all. I could have gotten shrimp on these tacos, but we got two chickens instead. Let's just shut up and eat. Let's get overall win, 949. One, two, three, boom. All right, I'm gonna start off with a Reuben roll dipped in their Thousand Island dressing. That was one of the best Reuben rolls I've had and I get them pretty often whenever they're available. But let's move on. This is one of their big sellers. It's their Max and Cheese. It's got steak, a whole bunch of macaroni and cheese. It's gonna be yummy. I should have asked for some sour cream to dip it in, but it is amazing. I'm fairly confident this is the classic chicken taco. I'm gonna start with their red chai beer, which is a red beer that's brewed specifically for chai. And this one's a pork. The presentation on this challenge is phenomenal. This one might be my favorite. This one's the Baja chicken. Yeah. 
Allotted five minutes in, now we're down, now we're on to the Korean beef. I don't want this to cool down, so let's finish off the mac and cheese. I'm getting quite a jaw workout with these, but they're delicious. This is the Sweetwater 420. I've had this before, I don't know where it's from. I think local, maybe not. That's it, yeah, Carolinas. Delicious. All right, let's do another classic chicken. All right, now we're gonna do a Baja chicken. All right, this is the Korean bait. That pork is so good. I want it like in a burrito, everything. All right, now we're on to a funky Buddha, whatever that is. It sounds delicious. It's local from here. Not too shabby. All of the tacos and the Reuben rolls equaled about five pounds, and then we added the burrito to make it about six pounds. And then we got all these beers, delicious so far. I think we're gonna get it. And there is dessert once I get to the end. I'm going to save the pork. Korean beef. I was up all night last night with this terrible crab cracking injury right here. I was bleeding everywhere. Had to go to the ER, it was terrible. But we're still okay today. We're just gonna keep on fighting and get back on the right track. Blue crabs are terrible. I mean, they were delicious, but I do not want them ever again as a challenge. One minutes in. Time for number two of the pork tacos. Or no, number three or I don't know. I'm an idiot too, everybody. I think I said three tacos a piece at the beginning, and I'm pretty sure it was four. So 16 tacos total. All right, next I'll do some Sailfish IPA. Ah, I've had that before here, it is good. All right, four tacos left, classic chicken. All right, now we're gonna do the Baja chicken. All right, just so it flows better, it was sitting here, but Lou's going to re-give me dessert. This is Lou's mother's real banana bread. This is an apple butter. They had me an apple butter. This is gonna be yummy. It's warm too, so let's finish these tacos and get to the dessert. Huh. 
Alright, next is the sailfish amber. It's local too. And then this is a Top Life and Kona. I don't know if that's local or not. I think it is. It is local. Oh, very good. Last five of the top three. I'm not a big cider fan, but this is a Three Daughters Key Lime Pie Cider, so let's try it. I would drink it, and then I say this for last because it's the darkest, looks the heaviest, but Hop Life Nut House. Bud Light or uh, anything domestic. Yingling, I can technically consider domestic, but I do have this to chug at the end. But first, we have to enjoy and finish this challenge, this homemade butter bread. I don't have a knife and I don't really have time to waste, so we are just gonna do this, because I'm sure this is finger looking good. Mm. Oh yeah. Definitely different than apple butter spread that I'm used to. Very good. Just past 33 minutes, delicious challenge. Number one was those pork tacos and then that Max and Cheese burrito. That was great too. Remember all the stuff I had, you can pretty much go up to the counter here at Chive and order whatever you want, build your own. The stuff on the menu is just based on recommendations that other people have liked in the past. Very happy to have the win here at Chive, known for their quick creative cuisine in Vero Beach, Florida. Lou here is going to hand me a sweet t-shirt and a hat. All right. We've got this sweet hat here. And then we've got I Love Cooking For You. Nice. That makes one of us. And then on the front, we've got their logo because they're known for tacos, burritos, sandwiches, salads, all kinds of stuff. But yeah. I had a great time here in Vero Beach, so not only thank you to Lou, his staff here at Chive, and then also his staff at Green Marlin, but thanks of course to my friend Thomas Miller. He pretty much organized my entire trip here to Vero Beach along with Visit Indian River. All the links for Thomas and Visit Indian River are down in the description. Big thank you to all of you for coming. I didn't want to get a yingling or anything domestic style during my, for either of my flights. They got 24 options, but I had to go with a yingling. I love yingling, so Nastravi, cheers to you guys all watching, and lots more Florida food challenges upcoming.